Okay, I've got another video to play from the largest manufacturer of pharmaceuticals in Poland. Um, they've got 7,000, almost 8,000 employees, seven manufacturing plants in Poland, Russia, and Kazakhstan, seven research and development centers, 600 products, 200 in development. We've got the CEO of Pol Pharma. Can we play the movie, please? And then you're welcome to stage, Marcus Zieger. Good morning. Good morning, distinguished guests, fellow impactees. Before we travel together to the near future, let me take you to the nearest past for a moment. Just 20 years ago, Polish banking was quite old fashioned, rather inward looking, and relatively difficult to deal with. In a Polish bank in 1998, if you had a bank account in the branch of Kraków and you lived in Warsaw, it took five days and a handwritten instruction to get it transferred on. The customers were a mere addition to the system. It is hard to believe that change happened so quickly. But how did it happen? Banks made the best possible strategic choice. They focused first and foremost on customers. With this came deep understanding of consumer needs. Aided with cutting edge technology, banks developed one of the friendliest business ecosystems modern digital banking, highly secure, convenient, easily accessible, and affordable to almost anyone. And now imagine the future, a modern healthcare system that went through exactly the same evolution, where you do not have to wait in long queues among other patients, where you can scan your body with a mobile device and receive an initial assessment added with artificial intelligence, where you can make your online appointments with the doctor quickly and efficiently, and where immediately after your telemedicine call or your doctor visit, your prescription medicine is ready for pickup at your local pharmacy, according to your per individual personal needs, and if necessary, fitted a nanochip monitoring and reporting the effectiveness of the treatment in real time. All this technology is available today. And recently emerging social acceptance of it allows us to take full advantage of all its potential. Imagine a healthcare system that is totally patient-oriented, convenient, easily accessible, and affordable, just like the banking sector. It is a revolutionary concept and as a result, it requires a revolutionary strategy and revolutionary cooperation. It's essential to begin with a constructive, open dialogue between the government, all the stakeholders in the healthcare ecosystem, and us from the business side. We can repeat in healthcare, in a successful and complete way, what has been achieved using big technological innovations in the mobile communications and banking systems leapfrog from analog paper to a fully digital environment. It is important that this success will only be possible by drawing up upon best examples of cross-industry corporations and bravely embracing the most modern and the most advanced solutions, adopting them and, if necessary, enhancing them. One great example of such cross-industry cooperation in healthcare is IBM's highly advanced artificial intelligence engine. Watson Health, and leading oncology clinics around the world, making it possible to improve patient treatments by accumulating and connecting the wealth of cancer treatment knowledge with personalized, real-time diagnosis. We at Pharma are leading by example. We started to embrace 
change with our vision of the future and are actively and consciously evolving our organization. From being the largest pharmaceutical company in Poland, they become an innovative healthcare solution provider. And this, in parallel of developing and producing affordable biotechnology drugs right here in Poland. Now, we believe that this important challenge cannot be met with current ways of cooperation development, but needs a bold move, inspiration and vital impulses from outside. Combining our fields of expertise with new insights, new non-orthodox attitudes towards challenges, fresh energy, we need all of these. This is why we believe that patient-centric innovation and services can be best and most efficiently created in partnership with you, startups and non-industry players. Imagine all of these. And then, let me tell you that as groundbreaking as all of this may be, it is just the beginning of a truly amazing change of mindset of our health. So big and important that it should not be described as change in services, but rather as a revolution in social attitude. The real revolution is the aim of more and more of us which want to engage on prevention to not become a patient. Ladies and gentlemen, you may have noticed that my vital parameters are being collected, transmitted, and analyzed all the time. They have been collected by a wearable and are transmitted to a health cloud and could be analyzed by artificial intelligence, which would compare my personal data with big data collected across a population of thousands of people. All of this happens in real time, in a secure environment, in full compliance with data protection laws, without any disruption of me or my activities. But should the system notice any abnormalities, I will be provided with suggestions on how to improve my condition. Be it just a simple change of diet or less simple changes of habits. Each of these suggestions are valid pieces of medical advice, preventing me from becoming a patient. Or simply said, I stay healthier. Innovative solutions multiplied across the whole society may support a fundamental change in how prevention and care, or just health in general, is seen and treated, which will result in unprecedented freeing up of currently limited resources, both private and government-based, of our healthcare system. This may contribute strongly to significant improvement of its quality and patient satisfaction. We must realize that we are at the verge of a very important mental process by which people realize that the key to staying healthy can be met by combining the aim to prevent with technology. And this is key to unlock a brighter, healthier future here and now. It is up to us, the pharmaceutical industry, the government, and all other stakeholders to make those new concepts available and support them with education, services, and products. If we start today with a constructive and open dialogue between all stakeholders, we did the first important step. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know the song Imagine by John Lennon. Well, you can call me a dreamer now, but think again. I'm certainly not the only one. So let's work together on this. Thank you very much for your attention.